Hello there, this is Gary Garretts, and I was asked to give you a basic breakdown and explanation of my drawing that's up right now at the Claremont Lewis Museum of Art. The actual location is up in a spring-fed box canyon up on Mount Baldy. When I stumbled down to the spot, I took out a sketchbook and made a whole bunch of sketches from different perspectives and then put together one solid composition. Then I found a studio that could accommodate this large piece of paper and laid out the drawing in one day with a large piece of charcoal. This part of the design is real fun because what I get to do is lay out the composition, rework the sizes of things, the positioning of parts, where the overlaps are, the bigger shape design, in general, cobble together the entire composition. Another point I'm really concentrating on is the visual flow going from the large open areas to the more detail-oriented parts where the textures are gonna be, and also counterbalance that between the large rocky solid areas and the more fluid areas where I'm going to put the water in later. So now I'm about a quarter way in and I'm using uh, towels and brushes, powder pigment and charcoal to lay in the value structure of the piece. A large part of the concept was all the personality of the rocks that were there. Every rock seemed to have its own little sort of character and I wanted to put them all together that it sort of told a story about how all the different elements in nature were interrelated. At this part of the drawing, I'm doing a lot of plowing through it with charcoal and a lot of really aggressive erasing. Um, sometimes some very large areas in it, trying to sort of activate it and, like I said before, sort of uh, replicate the elements of nature the way it's created. At this point, I'm about halfway through it. I'm starting to get a good handle on putting all the puzzle pieces together and working up the textures and the value structure. And the central theme of it is based around this element of the, this large rock, these three smaller rocks underneath this very large cedar tree that had fallen down off the cliff above. I sort of saw this as being the central point of the composition with all the natural fluid elements that surround us. So the day before I finished it, I hiked back up to the canyon and noticed another tree had fallen down and these two large branches had fallen over the top of the composition. And I had to add them in to stress the idea of more foreground in the composition and drawing. So I've punched in all of the larger stuff now, and now I'm starting to add a little bit more of the more delicate qualities like the roots and the water patterns, the ripples, uh, where the springs come up, the eddies, uh, the way they kind of flow over the rocks. Basically at this point I'm using all of these fine details and pieces of information to pull the whole composition together. At one point I really did want to accent the smaller details in relationship to the big forms. So just in case you wanted, it took me nine days to do this drawing from start to finish. I really tried my best to make it a homage to the chaotic yet peaceful and calm areas of nature that surrounds Claremont. I hope you enjoyed looking at it, and I really want to thank the museum for putting it into this show, along with all the rest of these other great Claremont artists.